breaking news. Welcome to today's headlines. Why we have fighting against federal government, colonial powers, high power. Why we are fighting against federal government, colonial powers, high power. To my dear listeners from wherever you're listening from, stay tuned as I read to this news. The leadership of the indigenous people of Biafra High Pop revealed why it is seeking a separate state for the Igbo nation. The group, in a statement on Friday, by its media and publicity secretary, a more powerful, revealed that it is fighting to end endemic injustice against the armless and peaceful Igbo people by the Nigerian state in collaboration with colonial powers. The struggle for Biafra liberation is a fight against endemic injustice perpetrated against the harmless and peace-loving people of Biafra by the Nigerian state in collaboration with colonial powers yet to forgive Biafra for championing the Nigerian independence in 1960. Because of the prominent roles of Biafrans who championed the Nigerian independence struggles. So, Hypop has been in the forefront of this struggle for the liberation of our people and we must achieve it by the grace of God Almighty. Chuku Kiki Abiyama, who is in heaven, we aim to end the marginalization and humiliation of our people, to restore their human dignity, and hope to give them a country where they can live in peace and fulfill destiny. We thank you for recognizing that there was a massacre of the people of the East in 1966, which Nigeria has been covering up by removing history from the Nigeria academic curriculum of primary and secondary schools since 1973. This crafty manipulation is simply because they don't want the world to know the evil they committed against the innocent citizens of Bihafra. The group further said that High Pop has exposed the atrocities of the Nigerian state against Biafra and brought it to the knowledge of the world. Today, everybody is now talking about the atrocities committed against the people of Eastern Nigeria during the war from 1967 to 1970. Self-determination is not a crime but the right of the people to legitimate for freedom. Her struggle for independence is not a declaration of war as mischievously misconstrued by the enemies. We only want to be free from oppression and subjugation. We want to be free from political exclusion and economic strangulation. We want to be free from mass slaughter by those who value cows above human lives. If the atrocities and unprovoked attacks against Biafra by Nigeria and in particular the Fulani jihadists were to be done to any country in Europe or Asia, do you think the world would have kept quiet? We don't know why the world has continued to watch the ongoing genocide against the innocent people of Biafra by the Nigerian state and non-state actors. 
they alleged that when we agitate peacefully, they slaughter us the more, and those who are lucky to be arrested alive are dumped in various secret cells in the north and abandoned. Yet the same double faced government is busy freeing arrested Fulani bandits and terrorists, killing innocent indigenous Nigerians in their numbers. Hype up remains a peaceful movement seeking freedom from for the oppressed people of the Afro, and those who don't know what we are doing are busy blackmailing us. But the fact is that the movement for the emancipation of Biafra is beyond any single individual, including our leader, Mazi Unamdekanu. It is now a global movement that cannot be stopped by any man born of a woman. It is a divine project that must be completed, the group noted. The leadership of the indigenous people of Bihafra Hypop reviewed why it is seeking a separate state for the Igbo nation. The group, in a statement on Friday, by its media and publicity secretary, Emma Powerful, revealed that it is fighting to end endemic injustice against the harmless and peaceful Igbo people by the Nigerian state in collaboration with colonial powers. The struggle for Biafra liberation is a fight against endemic injustice perpetrated against the harmless and peace-loving people of Biafra by the Nigerian state in collaboration with colonial powers yet to forgive Biafra for championing the Nigerian independence in 1960. Because of the prominent roles of Biafrans, who championed the Nigerian independence struggles. So, Hypop has been in the forefront of this struggle for the liberation of our people, and we must achieve it by the grace of God, Almighty, Chuku Okike Abiyama, who is in heaven. We aim to end the marginalization and humiliation of our people, to restore their human dignity and hope, and to give them a country where they can live in peace and fulfill destiny. To my dear listeners, now we've come to the end of our today's news. Please do drop by at the comment section and let us know what your view is all about. Thank you for listening.